Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we are going to create an entity class for book table and a category table. So let's begin. Before that, I would like to show you where exactly the Spring Data Rest documentation lives in. Open the browser and go to this URL. I'll drop a link in the description section of this video. Go ahead and bookmark this web page. I repeat, go ahead and bookmark this web page. We will come back to this web page many times in the future videos and it's always a good practice to read the documentation while learning a new technology. It has a nice documentation for the Spring Data Rest. So go ahead and bookmark this web page. So in the database, we have two tables, table underscore book and table underscore category. So now we have to create an entity class to map these tables. So go to the Eclipse and create a new class. I'm going to call this book and I'll create a new package entity and click finish. Let's go ahead and define the fields. Let's import this date from the util package, control shift O, import it from the util package. Let's add annotations. I'm going to annotate this class with the add entity annotation. Let's import this from the persistence package. Let's add at table annotation. Let's specify the column name, sorry, the table name, tbl underscore book. Let's import the table. And I will add add setter, add getter, add to string from the Lombok package. That will provides the setters and getters and will override the two string method. Let's import this. We have imported the setter getter to string from the Lombok package. Now we have to map these fields with the database column names. I'm going to add at ID annotation to this ID field that will makes the ID field as a primary key and I will add add generated value. I want this column to be auto generated strategy is equal to generation type dot identity. Let's import this from the persistence package. If the field name and the database column name both are same then we don't need to map okay the jpa will automatically map this which means we don't have to add add column annotation id sku name description which are all same as the column names so we don't have to map it so let's add add column annotation to the unit price field I'll specify the column name which is unit underscore price. Let's copy this. Let's paste it down. And I'll change the column to image underscore URL. Let's change the column name to units underscore in underscore stock and let's change the column name date underscore created let me create some white space let's change the column name to last underscore updated
let me remove these white spaces let's save this all right now we have created a entity class for the book table and in the next video we're going to create a entity for category table and we're going to add a relationship between these two entities so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video